morning friends i hope you are fine today we will learn how to store your website backup in google drive through a remote channel without downloading or uploading anything let's start our video first of all go to google and open your browser and log into your hosting account here we type our login details I'm using Polyhost, that's why I log into Polyhost. Now I have logged in successful. So I select service. Then uh, I go to the account where I want to create backup. So I go to polyhost.net. That's the domain that I want to create backup. Then I click on login to cPanel. Login to cPanel has been successfully completed. Now we are going to Software Colas tab and Software Colas App Installer, or we can also go to the WordPress managed by Software Colas. Here we will go to the backup and restore tab. There is the option to manage backup location. And uh, now we add a new backup location here. there are a few options that we can select now we are going to add a backup location and select the Google Drive here you can also give the backup location if you want if you want to store in default directory then you can also do it nothing to do need add a backup location option no backup location is satisfied I have made a mistake that we also need to choose a name. I give GW Google Drive. Okay. If you want to set backup location, then give me the otherwise leave it and click on add backup location. Now you are directly redirect to the page so you need to select google account associated with your google drive and grant permission allow this location has been successfully added now return to settings you can see that Google Drive has been successfully created now how to create backup to this location first of all go to the all installation option and this is the back clone tab and this is the backup tab just click on it here you can see that we have different options backup directory backup database if you want to store both then you can also select both otherwise you can remove one of them the next option is backup location the backup location we have default option default is uh, Google Drive and folder and now oh, we have select Google Drive and uh, click on backup
backup is now generating it will take 3 to 4 minutes and up to depends on your website size or backup creation has been completed now the next question is how we can access or uh, delete this backup or restore backup then go to the restore tab you can see that we have two backups first backup is uh, with the cpanel and second backup with google drive if you want to access this backup just only click this option it shows backup stored on google drive if you want to restore then just only click this option backup will be restored automatically this is the restore button I will click on to restore it restoration process is under I pause the video until backup has been completed now the restoration process has been completed the next thing is if we want that our website has been automatically backup to our Google Drive how we can do this let's go to the installation tab again click on edit option here you have options to select about database the default option location need to select as Google Drive create a backup system where you want to create daily weekly once or monthly whatever you want then select the backup rotation how many backups are stored in your Google account then I have to select backup standard application folder above it, these are optional if you want to select then otherwise no need to do it now just click on save option when you click on save option then your website will be loaded to your google drive on daily basis or weekly basis as well as you want thanks for watching our video